So I've been wondering, how hard would it be to have a Raspberry Pi identify soda cans? Let's find out. For an upcoming project, I need to know when a soda can is in front of a web camera. And this will probably be accomplished with either making or using a machine learning model. To create an object detection model, we're going to try to use TensorFlow. TensorFlow allows users to create their own neural networks. However, for this project, we're going to use TensorFlow's object detection API. And TensorFlow will be used to develop and train our machine learning models for identification on the Pi. And since the Pi is relatively not powerful, we're going to use the Lite version of TensorFlow. And I actually stumble upon that um, the TensorFlow Lite is actually used for mobile applications a lot, web up or um, web applications, which is pretty interesting. It kind, of, it kind of makes me want to mess around with that later. But um, the light version, at least compared to the normal TensorFlow version, the light version is going to lead to higher frame rates on the Pi, which is ideal. After I finished installing all the OpenCV and TensorFlow Lite packages, I wanted to test the Pi with a Google model. This machine learning model can identify up to 80 common objects. And once I ran the model, I realized this is not a very specific model. You know, it's very general at least not refined for um, some particular objects. It recognized you know, my water bottle and Diet Coke can as, as, as the same thing. It, it recognized it as a bottle and even recognized the pumpkin that was on my desk as a vase. But other than that, it ran pretty well. I was kind of impressed and I was very surprised as the lighting conditions in the room that I was just trying it out in were not ideal. So I'm kind of impressed that it worked just how it worked out. <laughs> at least you can see, I guess, bottles and cans as the same. So we are working toward the end goal. And so the next step in this process is going to be training our own model. Instead of doing a lot of machine learning TensorFlow commands that I just frankly do not have experience with, I wanted to try a different solution first. And I found that to be with the Teachable machine, which is also made by Google. It is designed for webcam use, and it basically takes just a burst of images of one object, and you can do that for several objects, and at the end it tries to identify the objects in a webcam view. But I found out that this is really designed for classification, where it shows, say, um, an example would be like four pieces of fruit, and you're trying to tell which one's an apple. And that would work pretty well, however, it's not designed to be able to de detect if an object is like in its view if there's no other objects. It can basically say, okay, if it's not this object, it's this object because it's only there's like a certain number of objects as options. So this is not going to work for detection like we need for this project. And since this project is simply identifying cans, we aren't like stating that there are a few objects in the view and that cans are one of them. No, it's it's either a can's there or it's not there. So I thought this would work. I even tried it on the Pi. I tried to run a um, like a model that I made for Teachable Machine on the Pi. But instead, I just got lots of errors that were saying, this is meant for detection, not classification. <laughs> or at least the um, TensorFlow Lite thing I downloaded. So while this sounded promising, um, I don't think this is going to work for our project. So I think we're going to need to create our own model with TensorFlow. I think creating a specific model with um, common soda cans to identify cans is going to be the route to go. And I tried a lot to have it be trained with Google Colab. I won't go into the troubles at this point, but it was rough. But the commands I ran in Colab are simple scripts, either downloading TensorFlow, OpenCV, a few repositories, and the model I chose, which was an SSD, um, ResNet 101, all this stuff. But it was just a common like machine learning model that you can base your model off of, which is just a template basically to train your custom models. And each model, um, this is important for just any time you're making your own custom model, Every like model option is going to give you um, the like accuracy to time. So you're trying to find a mix of both like, it depends on the machine. If you have a really powerful machine, maybe the time doesn't matter that much. But since we're working on a Pi in my like local PC that's not super powerful, we're gonna need something that is pretty, pretty fast. And after that, I set aside a few folders, which is also used for all the other attempts I'm about to have. <laughs> But there's going to be one folder that's for training and one folder that's going to be for testing. The training folder is going to have lots of images and annotations to say where the cans are in the images. And then the test folder, they're going to have the same thing, but just a fewer number of images and annotations than the training folder. So after it's trained the entire model, it's going to test the model and um, adjust after like testing like, okay, did you identify the can from this test image? And like I said before, I had to annotate these images. Um, because I'm not just saying like, okay, this entire image is gonna be a can. 
I tried to get a variety where the cans were often in a background and then you had to identify the can like with a little rectangle saying this is the coordinates of where the can should be. Um, and I was kind of surprised by that because the Teachable machine did not make you do that. So I'm assuming maybe the Teachable machine thought all you're showing it in that like feed is only um, the object, which is kind of different. But the annotations I'm assuming is more accurate. After all these steps, just making sure everything was ready, I tried to run the train command. I ran it several times with pretty much the same outcome. It kept getting stuck on this stage in the model script where it seems to be trying to find and replace a file with another file. And however, it, it, it just does not seem to be moving on from this step. And I've tried troubleshooting this with different versions of TensorFlow. I tried trying using the CPU version instead of the GPU version on Google Colab, but none of this seems to be that helpful. And this has also been frustrating to me because there are far fewer examples online of using TensorFlow on Google Colab. The majority of them are using it just on their local PC, so that might be because like just few people are getting problems because less people are doing this. But hopefully, I think Colab is a really awesome option because like I said, it's all running like all these scripts that are like, like GPU heavy um, on Google servers. So if you don't have a powerful, like, a powerful PC like me, that's a really good option. But I think I'm going to have to like, just I guess bite the bullet and try to do this on my local PC and using Anaconda, which is a virtual environment um, platform. I just don't have experience with it. So we're gonna try to use that. Um, hopefully it'll work out, but we'll see how it goes. Luckily, all the steps I took in Colab, I could apply to like, Anaconda. It was pretty much, like the same guide I was following, it says it could, it's gonna work for Anaconda or your local PC also. The other nice thing about Anaconda or running it on my PC is that I can always pick up where I left off. That was one of the major downsides to Colab. It might've been because I'm just a standard user and I'm like a pro user, but whenever I like got out of my tab, it would delete all the local files that were downloaded to Google servers. So that means I had to do it all in one go, but so that was a little frustrating, but luckily Anaconda lets you download everything to your PC, which is nice. And for some reason using Anaconda, it was always just like missing some requirement, um, which is probably just something on my PC not being up to date or not having Python up to date or something like that. But it was getting really frustrating. Like almost every package I had to download, I had some error pop up saying, oh, you're missing whatever um, repository that's, that's necessary. So maybe that's just, comp sci that I'm just not used to, but it was it was a lot of just, oh shoot, I have to go download this thing that it did not reference. In the documentation I kept finding just was not that helpful for me or not helpful for me and my PC. And my lack of computer science education might be partially to blame for that. Hopefully in the in the future it won't be as challenging for me to do, but exactly like Colab, it kept stopping in the training step, but it was actually on a different command. So I'm gonna just keep moving on. Maybe we can find some other solution, but it's getting really frustrating that almost like every command, there's something wrong with it that I seem to fix, but then the next command that I have to run it, there's another problem. For now, I want the Pi to be able to identify soda cans. And while we did all this, all this work of trying to get TensorFlow to work, trying to get Colab to work, I think the best option just at the moment is going to be using that Google model. Because while it did identify a lot of objects, some of the objects incorrectly, it did consistently identify cans and bottles. And this model did require several downloads and package tweaks, but Google's model is actually trained on the same model I planned on using. And it does a good job, again, at identifying soda cans and bottles, both of which can be recycled. So while you will see the model is still um, recognizing other objects, I have an if statement in the Python file that is seen when a can or bottle is being recognized, and it runs another script, which is a part of the project, um, which you will see later on. But for now, whenever the screen basically freezes, it's running that other script, and that's basically saying it detected the can or it detected the bottle. This is an overall success. I I'm pleased with that I'm able to identify cans and bottles consistently. So I was wondering how hard it would be to make a machine learning model to identify cans on a Pi. And I found this to be incredibly challenging, um, or, or you know, just very hard in general. So for the upcoming project, I'm gonna be using the Google um, model method. However, I would like to go back and figure out what's going wrong with TensorFlow, both on Colab and on my local PC. But what do you think? Tell me in the comments below. I'll see you next time.